Base 53 and higher panel configuration. Panel configurations allow you to edit item panels, part menu panels, and fuel panels. From Configuration Client, navigate to Store Operations, then hover over Touch Screen, then click Panel Configuration. The item panel is where you can add PLUs, departments, methods of payment, function, and menu key buttons. From the Items Panel tab, click Add to add a new panel. Type in the panel name under the Name field. Click Add Item to add different items to your item panel. Select the Type field and a drop-down will appear. Click the drop-down menu to choose from five different key types. These key types are PLU, Department, Method of Payment or MOP, Function, and Menu Key. For departments, methods and payment, functions, and menu keys, an item selection box will appear. Select an item to define the key. Select OK after the selection. When selecting PLUs, a search window will appear similar to the one found under Price Look at Manager. Search for the PLU by number, product code, department, description, or price. Select Retrieve Page, then select the radio button next to the PLU you would like to select. Select Done when you're finished. Click the Preview button to edit the button description, text color, and background color. Choose the Inactive button to make the button inactive. Type the description in line 1 and line 2 if the on-screen description needs to be different than what auto-populates. The description of the item should automatically populate line 1 and line 2. If the description is longer than 8 characters, it will put the remainder of the description on the second line. To edit the label and background color, type in the 6-digit hexadecimal code on the label or background color's text entry fields. Or, you can click on the color square next to the text entry fields, and it will show you a set of 40 default colors that you can choose from. If you click on the More button, you are able to edit the color by HTML hexadecimal, red, blue, green components, as well as hue, saturation, and lumosity. This allows you to choose between 16 million colors. Once your color is selected, click OK, then Save. Once you have several buttons created, you can move them up and down the list using the click, drag, and drop method. Buttons appear in order as you create them from left to right and then pick up on the next line once seven buttons are reached. After the allotted rows are filled, the off-screen rows populate and are accessed by swiping left. If you resize the panel, some buttons may be automatically moved to the off-screen rows. This is how you control button position. Once you are done, click Save on the touchscreen configuration. To create a duplicate item panel from the existing item panels, select an item panel and click Duplicate. Part Menu Panel is where you can display item menu contents on the screen and change them with additional menu buttons linked to the Part Menu. Click on the Part Menu Panel tab. Click Add to add a new Parked Menu Panel. Type in the panel name under the Name field. 
Use the default Park Menu pull-down menu to select the default menu that shows up when you first log in to the POS. Choose a text color and background color. Once your color is selected, click OK. Click Save at the top if you do not have any more parked menu panels to add. To create a duplicate parked menu from the existing parked menu panels, select a parked menu and then click Duplicate. Currently, there are no documented limits on how many parked menu panels you can create. Fuel Panel is where you can add fuel icons. Click on the Fuel Panel tab. Click Add to add a new fuel panel. Type in the panel name under the Name field. Then type the first fueling position number that will appear in the Starting Fueling Point text box. Use the Number of Fueling Points drop-down menu to configure how many fueling points in total will be on the panel. Click Save when you are done. To create a duplicate fuel panel from the existing fuel panels, select a fuel panel and click Duplicate. Currently, there are no documented limits on how many fuel panels you can create. Thank you for watching this short video on touchscreen panel configuration.